Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new game that some of you may know, some of you may not know. This is an old game, Medieval 2 Total War, but not the Medieval 2 Total War everybody's used to by playing with England and France and all of the kingdoms of Medieval Europe or all of the DLCs that they've thrown out for the game, which is kingdoms, of course. This is a mod, Third Age Total War, which brings the Kingdom of Middle-Earth and Lord of the Rings into the game Medieval 2 Total War. Also, I'm running a sub-mod for this, so it's a mod within a mod, and it's Moss, which adds a whole lot of new things, story aspects, and things like that. So, of course, yes, my lord. we have our king, King Aragorn of Adiador. So, we have all of these factions here, if we look at. We are the Free Peoples of Eriador. Our capital, of course, is Bree. Hopefully, for those of you watching, or of course, if you're new, hopefully you know at least a little bit of Lord of the Rings. If not, we'll be talking a lot about it, because I am a Lord of the Rings nut, seen every single one of the movies, read every single book except for the Cimmerillion, because I am not that good at reading that. But, I did watch uh, earlier today, 45 minutes worth of lore from lord of the rings from before the third age you know into the second age and first age so i do know semi that part so if you put down in the comments a whole bunch of lore i may know what you're talking about i might not but as you can see we have the free peoples of eddie at all which is us basically the free folk up north we have gondor which is the main uh, adversary to mordor we have rohan dale we also have the High Elves, which is, of course, Elrond and Eladan and Elro here in Glorfindel, and all of them are in that one. We have the Woodland Realm, which I believe is Legolas's place of origin, and uh, their kings over there. We have Lothlorien. We have the Dwarves. Mordor. Sauron, of course, if all of you know. I pronounce it Sauron instead of Sauron. I see it as S-A-U-R-O-N, Sauron to me. And I believe that's actually how you properly say his name. You have Isengard, which will be an enemy of ours later on. We have the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, which will be an enemy of ours very soon. We have the Orcs of Gundabad, which will probably be our enemy very soon as well. Harad, Rune, the Dark Lord of Mordor, which is um just the way... That Mordor can call upon invasions. And then we have Dunland. Now we do have a family tree. Of course we have King Arathorn. Which is the son of Arathorn. Is Aragorn of course. And then Havarad. And then we have King Arador. And then we have apparently. Lord Arafor. Which surprisingly. King is I'm guessing that's going to be the son. Of Aragorn, which would be very, very nuts. I don't know if Aragorn actually goes away, but we also have Gandalf the Grey. Now, I think once Gandalf the Grey dies, he turns into Gandalf the White, but I don't think he'll turn into Gandalf the White for us. I think he turns into Gandalf the White and goes to Gondor. But hopefully, you guys enjoy this, because I think this is going to be very cool, very fun. Just something to play, and of course... It's going to be a very long series. So I need to make a Lord. army for Lord Aragorn because of the fact that we don't have much of an army left. Uh, basically, Gandalf has the only army we got. And I'm going to just leave behind a 57 stack of men to hold yes. the throne while Gandalf goes to... I think it's over here. Making camp here. We're going to take out this little place and try to expand as much as possible before the Orcs of Gundabad do. Now, of course, we also have Frodo. Don't know if he's actually a custom unit, but I do know we have him. Now, we have a fair decent amount of yes, soldiers here that I'm going to want to take and move up. And uh, we are taxing the shit out of this province, so we're not going to tax them as much. And we're going to try to take right there. So... I know a little bit about the lore behind in the Second Age with Sauron making the rings and trying to give them out to everybody and changing forms into a peaceful man kind of thing. And then in the First Age with Morgoth trying to fight against everyone and uh, sinking a shit ton of land 
that should have been there. So we have end of turn report. We're making money. Fantastic. Faction announcements. Routine expands. Yada, yada, yada. Your orders, my lord. Nothing really big. We're going to try to besiege this, but we're not going to attack them. We're going to wait three turns for them to attack us. Then we have Fornost, which if you guys ever played Lord of the Rings War in the North, you'll know of that. Yes, and of course, Lord. Gandalf is going to head over to Amon Sul. We're going to maintain this siege we as well prevail. until they come out and attack us. And we're going to try, we're going to try to get every single settlement that's close to here uh, to Fenis Durdedin, because that is where our Duodane Rangers can mainly be trained from, which we're going to need that because those archers are fantastic. So there's, it's a turn-based strategy game, Medieval 2 Total War, and of course Third Age Total War along with it. It's very good, I love it, because you have a campaign look and then you have a battle look, which is very fantastic. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you have heard of this game. So we have Duodane Swords getting trained out of Bree. We're going to be using them quite a lot. We're just going to try to train a little bit of men for Aragorn to go out with, because I do want him be very good i do want to get paved roads in basically every single land that we could possibly get them and then town watches so that way we can start training troops we have a town watch available here but i want to work more on roads roads get us money money is what i like i like the money i want land clearance as well i don't know why i haven't done that yet let's train another troop here just so we're not so pissy and then uh, two more turns to attack that. And I think one more turn yep, to attack that. So they might attack us this turn or they will attack us in the next one. It's fantastic because a lot of these generals are actually custom made. Aragorn is custom made. Gandalf the Grey is custom made. Glorfindel, Eladan, and Elro here are custom made. Elrond, I think, might be custom made. Don't trust me on that. I haven't played this mod in a very long time. Oh, are they coming out to attack me? Yeah, they are. Baller, so we have a fight this one. Ah, oh, cool. We should win 10 to 9. They don't, I'm guessing they only have, yeah, basically fucking rabble. So it's going to be very easy to attack them. But I'll get to show you a little bit of what's going on. I'm going to have to pause, of course, to get my armies together and get everything situated. But I had to mute the music for this one. Very, very sad because of the fact that uh, it's all copyright, the music, and I cannot use any of it or I will get striked to hell with this with this video. So I am not going to do such thing. As you can see, you can start to see Gandalf. Now, Amon Sul, as well, is a custom settlement. Very dodgy with the camera angles because of the fact that it's not the best. So let's see, can we actually get up here? Yes, we can. Cool. So this is Amon Sul. It's a very difficult way to get up here, but they have to come down to us because we are defending if they do not attack us in that little bit of time. Where is our troops? There they are. Look at us. We have a little bird's eye view. Hey, guys. So we're going to try to come down here. We do not have a restricted camera on. You can have that on as you are so choosing. But where is the man himself? Where is Gan? You're over here, my friend. So as you can see... This is Gandalf the Grey, holding Glamring, which is his sword, and of course his staff, and he looks ma- So he is, he, he is here with us, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to kind of want to back up a little bit. And I want to get all of our troops together. We're going to make one of those guys run. We're going to take all of the archers. We're going to back them up as well. We're going to have them run. And then the horses are going to stay together, I think, for this battle. Riding up on this side is going to be fairly difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our troopers over here on this side. Let us commence this battle. It's going to take them a long time to get themselves situated and get themselves down here. Which is fantastic. I'll wait for them. I'll actually speed up the process, too. The great thing is we're pulling on huge everything. My computer, of course, can handle a game like this. It's fairly simple. I'm guessing they're just going to be trying to run from down here. Could... Yes... Am I right? Am I right? I think I'm right. I don't know. Where are they running from? Where are they coming down from? It's very difficult, this map, to get around. So they're going to be running, it looks like, from down here. 
So it actually looks like they're going to be coming around from over here, which means that they, if they follow the road, they're going to be coming down from over here. So I may have to move. I may have to move my troopers, which is a-okay. I don't see a reason why I can't do that. So let's move them over there. As you can see, it gets a little annoying with the speakings of the men, but that's to be expected. Go ahead and put the general like that with his other men. I don't know exactly. I'm guessing they're going to be trying to run either around here or they're going to run up on the hill and run around the other way. If they do that, then I'm kind of screwed and I have to fix myself. But I don't think we have a battle time limit, which is fine. So they're going to be running, 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 running. Running. Some of them are running down. Some of them are running through. Very, very smart idea. But we are set and ready for them. But uh, the only thing is my generals are kind of on the wrong side and I don't want them to be on that side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my spearmen at an angle and I'm going to move my cav over to the other side here. So they're going to run over. Because they're kind of splitting their forces in half, which I actually enjoy. So soon, once we get the first volleys able to be fired, I'll stop the being ex extremely fast. As you can see, they're running over on this hill over here as well. That's fine. Don't worry about them. We'll be okay. Uh, what I'm going to want to do is spread this guy a little thinner. There we go, so the battle finally commencing. Jesus, it's been a long time. Who's firing first? I'm guessing it's the Duodane. Yes, of course it is. Fire, men! Do it! Let's... Yes! Let's loose your arrows. But, uh, don't use fire. Are you guys all using fire? Don't use fire. Do not use fire arrows, because they're they're meant to scare the enemy, but they're not, they're not meant to kill them. That is not what I want. I want to murder them. So these are woodsmen coming through here, which is very, very fine. I only have 112 men in this one versus their 149, so it's going to be a little bit of a fucking pain. So we got bandit archers. We got some bandit archers. We got bandits, hunters, yada, yada, yada. So I think what I might do is I might throw both of these guys over to that side. So we're going to charge these guys. We're going to have these guys fire over here on this side. Gandalf and his men will go ahead and run all the way over to the side so that way we can hold them. So they're firing back at us. We're going to not spread out just yet. I don't know exactly where they're going. It actually looks like they're thinking about uh, flanking me, which is a very smart idea. Uh, but it looks like they're running off. They're already routed and broken. Those are peasants. You didn't even know, so what we're going to do is we're going to charge against those 150 bandits. And we're going to try those guys out for size. And then uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to charge our cav right through here. Because these guys are all archers. So it's going to be so quickly for our men to mop them, mop them down. Let's charge them. Do not run. I do not want skirmish mode on. It helps out, but I do not need it on. And then our cav charges into the enemy. Oh, look at how they cut the men down. Very good. Where's Gandalf in this? Where are you, Gandalf? I think you'd be in the thick of things. No, oh, there, there he is. He's riding off. He's chasing all these men down. How goes the main fight? Gandalf, let's have your men charge through here. This one is the one that's actually getting a decent amount of uh, fighting. It looks like the peasants, the bandits, are now coming back. Very good. So let's charge some of them out. Let's charge some of them over. So we'll split charge them. It sounds like Gandalf is moving in on the bandits. Yep, there he goes. Oh, Gandalf swinging his freaking blade. Look at him. He's all bloody now. He's getting the blood of his enemies on him. Yes, kill. Jesus. So good. So good. Let's go over here. Let's see a little bit more action. Looks like we're beating down these uh, peasant axemen. Don't seem to be any sort of problem. The peasants trying to kill some men, but uh, not doing so hot against them either. I'm guessing Gandalf. Yep, chasing down them. Let's go ahead and move up against these axemen. These guys are the only ones that basically remain. 
Very easy fight. Again, the, the harder fights will be later on. Ooh. Yes. And we won. We only lost 43 men against 968. You could see that that was a very simple battle just because of the fact that the rebels, they're just muck. So that's going to be a very simple battle to win, and it was. But um, the harder fights will be, of course, the Orcs of Gundabad and the Orcs of the Misty Mountains because of the fact that if you attack Moria with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, you have to fight the Balrog. But I think you can sacrifice Gandalf to kill the Balrog immediately. But I don't want to do that because I, I like Gandalf. I like him a lot. So we are now technically... Uh, if you look at our territory here, we're now together on our territory. I think there's a rebel settlement somewhere down here that we need to go to quickly. But we need to recruit more. We need more men. Now, Bree is building up some very fine things. Now, I want to continue to make money every single time. I want to construct things. Of course, he is the heir of my apparent throne, which is very good. He is the there and back again book of Bilbo Baggins, which is very good. And I guess in the next fight, we're going to be seeing, or in the next turn, we're going to be seeing another fight, which I might actually um, auto-resolve that fight. I'm guessing we're going to win by quite a margin. I don't think we'd have, we would have to fight that. I was going to play a little bit of a bigger, like, known what is it called? Faction like Gondor or Rohan. But I think this is more of a challenge because we deal with the orcs and things that most other people do not. So we have a pretty thickened fight. It's one to one, but I think we're going to win this off very easily, of course. Clear victory. Could have lost a little bit less men. Jesus, but we're, we're going to occupy that settlement. Here. And then we're going to get... One unit of Duodane Rangers, which is going to add to the army. Now, the Under Towers is rioting. Where are they? Why the hell are you rioting? Stop rioting, you fools. We actually don't have a troop in there at all. Let's go ahead and march some, uh, some hobbits over there. I didn't actually even know we had this, so that's really cool. I think this is a custom little thing they have built also which is very cool we have the high elves are over in this general area here of course i know that from playing this game but uh most of you probably would not know that uh of course here is where we can recruit most of our duodane ranges and arches i don't want to build those such things yet just because of the fact that uh it's not the smartest idea over in amansul we have gandalf which needs to march on and take another land of course i think up here might be Gundabad territory. Down here to the south is um, Orcs of the Misty Mountains territory, but Gundabad might have taken a thing or two up here. I'm going to take Gandalf and most of his army. I'm going to take the weakest link and set him down and then march yes. forward. No now, I do have a few generals here that I'm going to send one to Amon Sul just so we can make a little bit more money. It does look like the next place up here is a rebel settlement. So if we could tag that, we can get the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Or Orcs of Gundabad, actually. My bad. We can get them a little bit afraid of us. Um, they would have to come down and immediately try to fight us. Now, this is Dunlanding territory, I do believe. Could be wrong, but there is a rebel settlement down here, which I need to get to as soon as possible. I'll go ahead and recruit a, I think a merchant footman. And then another spearman. And I'm going to go ahead and take both the spearman and the archer from that army. Bring them down to Bree. So that way I can hold them in Bree and keep them towards Aragorn's army. Which would be very good. Um, if you would have to ask me who my favorite character of Lord of the Rings is. It would probably be a tie. A three-way tie, I should say. There's a lot of good characters in Lord of the Rings. It would be a three-way tie between Aragorn, Sauron, not as the Eye of Sauron, but as his actual form, and probably Gandalf the White. I like Gandalf the Grey, but I just think Gandalf the White is more badass. I don't know why. I think, I think the Rebel Village is up there, which is going to be fine. Very fine. So we're going to take these two men. We're going to bring them down. Can we train another troop? We do have my son there. Which is fine. We can't train anybody at the moment. Why can't we build a port? Are we, we're not buying any sort. That's weird. Let's 
go ahead and just bring a troop over. Anunamas we're going to want to keep, and we're going to want to, I think, build up the ruins of Anunamas in order to for reforge Arnor, which was this ancient civilization before it was the free peoples of Eriador. It was Arnor under King Elendil that uh, fought the Battle of the Last Alliance as the, you know, High King of Gondor and Arnor. But of course, Isildur was the king of Gondor under his father until his father died. And of course, he retook everything, became high king, and then basically uh, got corrupted by the ring and got shot to death. No spoilers in that. Uh, it's basically pre-movies. -pre if you've never seen the movies, I'm very surprised if you've never seen the movies because the movies are fantastic. This could be a fairly decent force. We'll train up that Spearman, and then we'll go on. As you can see, we're still making a shit ton of money, so it's not a problem. Go ahead and send that Spearman in, and then go with Gandalf to try to continue to find this rebel settlement that I think is right up here. Actually, it's not. There's a settlement somewhere over here. You can see that there's a split here. I don't know if you can see the borderline, but there is a split, so there is... A thing over here that I'm gonna have to look for it because I do want to be formal about grabbing these settlements and I'm gonna want to try to find that now granted I have no idea who holds what so they could actually already hold that area and I don't know and I'm just walking through their lands uninvited which is fine Mordor is gonna be one of our biggest enemies I'll show you the precursors of what we have to do for this campaign of course I'm playing a long campaign so we have to hold 40 regions, including Bri, Amansul, uh, basically a lot of places that we will soon be holding. And then we have to take out the Isengard, Orcs of the Misty Mountains, and Orcs of Gundabad and Dunland. So that's going to be very, very fun. It's a long campaign, so it's going to be it's going to be semi-difficult to do. So I'm going to run around here. I'm guessing the settlement's probably somewhere over here. Now, Aragorn has quite a force. We're going to be leaving away those men and we'll be marching down now Bree is at okay you know they're not pissy but they're also not they're not happy so there's a land here and there's a land here so we'll go around we'll search here and then we'll search over here with Aragorn so we have pretty decent armies out at the moment which is very very good but this is getting a little lengthy so this is going to be the end of the episode and the end of this turn I will save and we will continue if, of course, we get the proper support. I love Lord of the Rings. I love this mod. I used to play this mod all, like, all the time. It used to be so fun. I used to do so many things. Uh, I Even back to when, if you guys actually have played this mod before, you'll know what I'm about to talk about. Way back to the Baron Samedi mod. There it is. So we found it. Way back to the Baron Samedi mod pack. My god, that was the first big one. Oh, well then, I'm going to save it right here. How about that? We're going to, I'm going to end the episode off here. In the next episode, we will have a fight with King Aragorn, and I'll end up showing you what King Aragorn does in battle. I don't like his unit that he rides with, but it's fine. And don't worry, you may think that's a disgusting looking Aragorn if he looks like that. He does not with the moss if you're playing just the mod alone. It would be that. I'm going to try to link all of the mods in the description below. I don't know how good I'm going to be at doing that. But of course, if you have any questions, put a comment down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it or if you want to see more of it. Of course, I am always willing to do more. Also put in other factions that you would want me to play as. Like, let's say Mordor, Gondor, High Elves. I don't know anybody else that's very good. The Dwarves. Anybody that would be really, really fun to play as Isengard. I mean, Jesus, I forgot one of the big ones. And also, if you have not yet, subscribe for more. Of course, it's going to be very fun. And I know that other YouTubers have made a, you know, probably multiple series of this. But I wanted to throw myself out there because I love this mod. And I enjoy everything about Medieval 2. And it was a pain getting this to actually install. So... I just wanted to throw it out to you guys, see what you guys think about it. And if you guys want to see more, of course, just like the video. Don't worry, everything else is still going on. 
and everything else will still be happening. All the Hearts of Iron 4 and all the other playthroughs that we're doing are still going on. So until the next episode, Glenn Games signing off as always. Take care, everyone.